Hi, this is Bill Scheib from the TTM Djembe Academy in Winston-Salem. One of my favorite expressions that I think is really helpful as a student of the Djembe is the saying, the map is not the territory. The map is not the territory. What does that mean? Well, for us as students of the Djembe, it means to focus on the music itself rather than our interpretations of the music. A lot of djembe students, of course, we come from the West and we grow up in a culture where music is described a lot. We talk about it, we write books about it, we write the music itself. But when we say the map is not the territory, what it means is don't forget that all these ways we describe and write and talk about the music is not actually the music itself. And it's important to remember that in West Africa, where the djembe comes from, the music is traditionally not written down. So the idea is focus on the music first and then focus on the representations and the descriptions and all of that stuff second. I'll give you an example. Check this out. What do we have here? We have the letter H, right? Now, if we were going to focus on the map instead of the territory, which is not what I recommend, in other words, if we were going to kind of do this backwards, we could argue all day long about this, right? We could get on the internet and we could say, well, how do you draw an H? Well, actually you draw an H by doing this, and then you draw an H doing like that. And somebody else could argue, no, 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 an H is like this, and then you do like that. And somebody could argue, no, actually an H is like this, and then it's like that, et cetera, et cetera. And we could argue about the map all day long. But at the end of the day, the map is not actually the territory. In other words, this is a symbol, and the symbol represents a sound. So we wanna focus on the sound, not the symbol, right? H, that symbol means for us in English, we say, oh. well, actually we only say oh, some of the time, right? For example, here we say home, here, we say our. So then we could argue about, well, who's right or who's wrong? Did we H always you have to say, or no, H is always silent. We can argue about that all day long. But what this means is you're better off focusing on the sound, in other words, for us, the music, than you are the representation, the letter, and the rules around it. Why? Because if you can play the music as an intelligent and well-educated musician, then you can understand the fundamentals and you can make the distinctions between the subtleties and the fine variations and the places where it's necessarily art and not science. Don't forget, we're talking about music here. Music is art. So yeah, sometimes we say, oh, and sometimes it's silent. So we have to remember that we are studying African music and to take the African approach is not better than or worse than the Western approach. So it's not the West versus Africa or Africa versus the West. As far as a, a quality difference, like, well, the West is always better or Africa is always better. No, it's just a question of what works. And in my opinion, in more than 15 years now of doing this, when we say focus on the territory first, it produces better results. We learn better, we play better. So in other words, understand it here first and then seek to understand it here or if you have to understand it here first if you need a map before the territory no problem we've all grown up western students with that as part of our culture just remember that our intellectual understanding is just a tool it's just a crutch and once we can walk leave the crutch behind so there you go the map is not the territory Thanks for watching everybody. I'm Bill Scheid with the TTM Djembe Academy. See you on the next video.